Hello and welcome everyone. So today, after a long time, we are starting again our online training classes. So for that, you know what you need to do? That is you need to send out your interest to swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com. And uh, the, the enrollment for online classes week this for July batch starts for integrated program of Swift payment course plus migration to ISO 222. So this is not only weekdays, but also weekends, right? So both, both it has started. You can enroll it. And from 1st of uh, July, we are going to start both weekday and weekend batch. I'll just give you the highlight of it. And uh, also about the syllables and the cost and what are the things which you'll get, right? So let's go to the key highlights of this program. So this program is nothing but our integrated course. That means we have Swift payment course plus migration to ISO 222. So I have combined together and then I have found this uh, course and this would be around 30 hours online classes. Approximately it can be a little up also but at least 30 hours of the classes sessions would be there but you need to join and how you would be joining right those formalities you will get it from the email once you drop an email to swift payment guru at gmail.com you'll get all those information so this will be covering both swift payment course and migration to iso 222 we already know swift payment course has uh, it starts from the basics of payments and then gradually you'll move it to Swift payments, different types of uh, clearings and all those information would be there. I'm just, I'll just walk through the syllabus as well for both of it. But, it, but after going this combined online classes training for these both two programs together, I can ensure that you would be finding yourself very much comfortable in the positions you are handling into the payments or if you're planning to switch into the payments domain and right now since as we know that migration to iso 2022 is happening this is a beautiful opportunity to learn it and then switch your organization and start uh, prospering in your career so this will be a one month course right a zoom meeting link will be sent out to you once you enroll it and uh, on on the time in which we have decided as for the trainers availability and students availability, we decide certain time and based on that you and the trainer would join, that is me. And uh, uh, that is how the entire month would go. So weekdays and weekend batch availability as per the student decided time, as per your decided timing and the trainers availability, we can fix time and then you can attend the trainings and we have weekdays from Monday to Thursday, 80 minutes per day session. Weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 160 minutes per each day session. So altogether, it would be around 30 hours. If it is needed to append some more days, it will be added, but at least 30 hours of sessions or teaching classes would be available because this is a very vast course. You'll get to know in sometimes after looking into the syllabus. All those sessions which would be given by me, trainer, now, uh, right, uh, those would be recorded. And after every end of the session, right, you'll be receiving this recorded videos as well. The link where you can access to today's session, which it completed. Same day it happens for the consecutive days, whatever number of days uh, you would be available for the training. You'll also get the slide prepared by the trainer, the slide which I have prepared to train or to demonstrate or to walk through, you'll be receiving it for both Swift Payment course and Migration to ISO 222, MT2MX Converter Tools, which I have prepared, designed, now Exibus tool where you can convert MT101 to MX, Paint 01 MT103 to MX Package Rate, MT202 to MX Package 9, 202 Cover to Package 9 Cover. Not only that, you will also receive at the end of the um, training sessions, you will receive the reference documents and expected interview questions. Moreover, you will also be learning this 
business use cases where you will learn the payment production scenarios will be demonstrating you end-to-end -end payment cycle as well we'll learn about this is the key highlights of this integrated program online batch highlights and now uh, the session videos once you uh, every day right, will be completing right so uh, every day i'll be sharing this session videos and then you would have all available into your youtube so basically you need to provide the email id which you have logged in into the youtube and we will be providing private access to that email id and from that email id whichever you have logged into youtube you would be able to access it we'll be sharing you the links also You'll be getting this MT to MX converter tool. We can see, you can watch out the other videos which I have prepared and upload it to learn about how this MT to MX converter tool works. So this is how this empty message fields are available when you populate the data, and then it converts. Once you export, then it will convert into the respective MX ISO twenty two messages. So now let's directly pitch into the syllabus. This is the same syllabus which we had covered for the Swift payment course. But since it is an integrated also, we are adding it all together for both ISO 2022 and Swift Payment Syllabus. Now we all know that Swift Payment Syllabus has, you know, the start, it starts from the basics of payments, that is introduction, key elements of payment and settlement system. Then we learn about the different clearing settlement and mechanism. We learn about the cross settlement, net settlement, multilateral clearing, net settlement, right? And then we'll move into accounts, nostril, vostro, low, and nostril mirror accounts. All of this with an example and scenarios, as we have already discussed. And then we'll also understand about the role of financial institutions, the different finance and institutions available, which plays important role in the payments. And we'll finally move into the introduction to SWIFT. And this is where we will spend much of our time, how the SWIFT payment flow works, into end life cycle of the SWIFT payments, learn about the RMN accounting relationship, accounting entries, SWIFT message structure, SWIFT services, architecture of banks, integration with SWIFT network, payment processing application validations, business identifier code, ACK and NAC notification from the SWIFT, bank charges, a bench or we would be understanding in deep. This will give you a regular insight about how the charges are calculated and the end-to-end -end flow as well, along with the account posting. Then we will spend much of, a, much of our time to the payment methods, which covers direct payment methods, serial payment method, and direct and forward payment method. Here we'll be taking multiple business use cases to understand it. And uh, we'll be spending a very good amount of time over here as well. Then we'll go into the different fin empty message categories. We'll understand empty one categories. These are the messages which we'll be understanding. Not only the message structure, you'll be understanding with an example, business use cases, how it works and what is its importance. All of those definition, message structure, everything. It covers major messages like empty 101 because for the payment initiation, empty 202 is TB. MP103 core, which is our customer credit transfer, single customer credit transfer, MP202 is MP102 is for multiple customer credit transfer, then it's subtypes, and then remit. Then we'll go to the other type of messages, which is use, for example, MP190, MP191, MP192, 5, 6, 8, 9. We'll understand with the example and the business use cases. Same for empty two categories, 201, 202, which is customer credit transfer, sorry, financial institution to financial institution fund transfer payment. Then we'll understand about the return, 202 cover, 298. Same way for nine categories, 908, 910, 915, 999, which is, uh, you know, uh, our debit and credit advice for 919, 950 or 940 is used for account statement report, empty triple nine. It's also used for free format we'll understand about that and then we'll understand about the swift global payment initiative what was the major importance of this gpi introduction into the swift how does it help to track the 
payment end to end and what are the other features in the Swift API with the technical validations. We'll learn about those as well as in deep. So this would end our Swift payment course, right? And uh, it would approximately take 15 hours, right? And the next 15 hours would be taken for the ISO 2022. That is migration for the ISO 2022. We'll understand in deep. And it has also a very extensive course, which will have ISO definition, who developed ISO 2022, issues with different message standards, how ISO 2022 will help, why need of ISO 2022 arised, what is XML, what are the business domains of into the ISO 2022, message definitions, advantages, right? and uh, we'll understand about the uh, advantages of adopting the ISO 2022, advantages of adopting ISO 2022, granularity of the data using the Swift MP and ISO 2022, why move to the ISO 2022 now, we'll understand about CPR plus, users guidelines and high value payment system, infrastructure consideration which is needed, impacted uh, banking areas, key differences between CPR plus and let's be High value payment plus world migration plan to ISO 2022. Then I will understand about how Swift is approaching for this ISO 2022 migration. 2022 migration, how Swift is helping, what are the different services it is providing for the banks, the tools that are available for CPR plus users guidelines, translation services, everything about it in depth. Swift Transaction Manager, which is very important for this till the coexistence phase, we'll understand this as well in tape, which includes how it is working without TM, how will it work after the TM is implemented after November 2022, and how does Swift Transaction Manager mediate between the banks? All of this we'll understand. And then we'll also understand how this will be integrated with the channels that is FinPlus, API, and Fin channel are the one which should be used to integrate. Then we'll understand how do I prepare um, ISO 2022 as a bank or a business analyst or anyone who is representing from a bank to tra translate or to, to migrate into the ISO 2022 data mappings, comparison of MT with MX messages. And then we would move into our ISO 2022 messaging where we'll understand about the key differences between MT and ISO 2022. We'll understand Swift Twin Plus message structure, XML element, rules, business application header, right? In deep. And then we'll understand about the all the ISO 2022 messages in retail payments into the packs, business domain, payment clearing and settlement messages. We'll understand about packs two, four, eight, and nine. Not only with not only uh, in terms of the definition, you will be understanding with multiple business use cases, and then we'll be we'll be comparing it with that of our with empty format messages. We will, you know, be able to map the empty fields to that of the MX elements. That will do it. Same way for the payment initiation messages, payment zero one, zero two, and zero one two will be doing it. Same way with the cash management messages for 05, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 5, 6, and 5, 7. And this is all. So this is also around 15 to 17 hours of uh, online training classes. So altogether, we have 30 to 32, almost 30 or 32 hours of online training classes that would happen throughout the month. And if needed, an extra days would be taken for the next from the next month as well. So how do you enroll for this, right? You just drop an email to swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com to enroll for this online training patch, which, which is for the integrated course. And the cost of this is INR 20,000 rupees only. This is a very minimal cost with this much of extensive course, right? And online classes is provided, right? 
no matter if there is only one student or two students or three students, right? Based on the timing availability of yours and the trainers, you will be providing. So if it is a one-to-one, -one, it is always good because you can ask a lot of questions for sure. So this is the best way you can utilize it and ensure that you learn from basics to the advanced level. This provides everything which is needed for you to switch an organization or if you're working already into the payment system and then you need to improve your knowledge so that you can help your bank to migrate into ISO 2022. And as I was telling you, this is not only for the SWIFT migration, this is also for the world high value payment system migration into ISO 2022. If you are able to join this batches, then I can ensure that you, it would help in your high value payment system plus my guess into ISO 2022 as well. So just drop an email to us to swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com to enroll the batches. And this will start from the July 1st. And you have a good number of days, five, six days, where you can enroll yourself. And the rest of the information will be provided via the email itself. And if you have any questions, right, um, just drop an email and they will provide some contact number where you can reach out to me to speak and I can clear some of your doubts about this online training batch and any other information if you need. So this entire online training batch for the entire month, uh, the charge is only 20,000, very minimal. And just in case, right? And just in case if you just need the video, right? The video of this training, entire training of 30 hours plus videos, then you just need to pay 12,000. That is very minimal. So in this online training, I'll be providing live training classes where I'll be taking classes via Zoom where you can join and then the session starts for the entire month it will happen. And this recorded videos, which I have already done for previous batches, if you want only those videos, which, is, which remains the same, the entire course, everything. Right, and also all those reference documents, slides, converter tools, also you'll be receiving in this recorded videos. If you just want to take the videos and do not want to join the online batches, then you do not need to pay 20,000. You just need to pay 12,000 rupees and you will get the entire content, whichever I have used to train my other students in the previous batches. So it's a very good deal. I think this is a very good deal because uh, Swift payment course itself is 5,000 bucks and migration to ISO 22 itself is uh, 10,000 bucks for all of the videos if you take it individually or one by one, right? But since it is integrated, I'm just giving you it in 12,000 only. So 3,000, you are saving it and all the content remains the same and all the, the reference documents translated to everything you are receiving over here. So best way is to utilize this either by joining the online training batch or get the videos along with the documents, reference documents and slides. You can run it both way. So yeah, this is all from my side and uh, all the best. And I'm looking forward for more and more enrollment for the online batch and also for the recorded videos if you need it for just 12,000 bucks. You can drop an email to us I'll repeat again, swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com. That is S-W-I-F-T-P-A-Y-M-E-N-T-G-U-R-U at gmail.com. All the best. See you next time.